Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome back to my let's play of the game Shadow of the Colossus. I have now defeated five colossi, so well done me, pat on the back. <laughs> now let's go kill our sixth one, shall we? This is getting very routine now. Basically, I kill a colossi, then a statue blows up, I have another little shadow person looking over me, then I do the same thing over and over again. But it's fine, it's not getting repetitive at all, because... I'm always kind of journeying to new areas and the colossi are different enough that it's not like just the same thing, it's kind of, I got the platforming part of it, but it's also kind of a new puzzle. Thy next foe is a giant lurks underneath the temple. It lusts for destruction, but a fool it is not. Okay, so I guess I've got to outsmart something that lives underneath a temple. Oh god. I've got to outsmart something? That's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> right, where's where's my horsey? Where's Ambrosius? Agro. Agro. Right, let, let's, let's, yeah. go, let's go kill the six colossi then, shall I? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, I should do my little... My little yeah. GPS sat nav thing <laughs> he goes down the stairs, so ridiculous. <laughs> I should shine my sword around for a bit and see where it is I'm supposed to be heading then. Um, this direction, okay. This is kind of the direction where I went when I killed the first one. I'm not actually sure where the temple was. Actually, there was that place, I don't know if you remember, it was like, I think my second video or something, when I was just wandering around aimlessly for a while, I found like an inside area. And it was just like a big empty room. And I was like, why is this room here? It might be there, because that was kind of underneath a temple kind of area. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find out shortly. Yeah. Let me just quickly do my shiny thing again. Make sure I am going in the right direction. Okay, I want to go over to the right. And horse, come on, come back. <laughs> you run so weird. <laughs> Let's go do it. This girl better be like the best girl in the world. I'm gonna go and kill all of these massive things just to save her. She better not just like die at the end or I die at the end or something. That would just that would suck. Okay, well it looks like this is the direction I've got to go into. It looks to be like some sort of woods or something. It's getting a little bit darker and mistier. I'm a little bit frightened. Oh look at those look at those rays of light shining through the trees. How beautiful. What a perfectly nice and beautiful day for me to go and murder a giant. Yeah. That's just yeah. the kind of guy I am. Oh, this is the, the the swamp. I think I've been here before. I lose track. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, sorry, horsey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a road there. Maybe not. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let, let, let's let's shine my shine my light around and see where I'm supposed to go. Um. Oh, I do I do have to go that way apparently. Uh. Can I, can I jump over that thing? Maybe maybe the horse just can't come this way. It definitely said I've got to go here. Oh dear. Um, I'm assuming I won't survive that fall. <laughs> okay, i gotta, I got to find my way around there somehow. How am I going to get there? I'm not going to be able to survive that, am I? Even if I do survive that, I can't be asked to swim all the way around there. Okay, well, let's, let's have a look at the map and see if there's an obvious route. Uh, no. Oh, well, I've been over the other side to it before, because there's a save point there. Right, looks like I'm just going to have to wander around and see if I can find my way there. Alright, Ambrosius, where are you? Don't get your hooves wet. Uh, I guess got to go around this way then, I suppose. I wish they did give you, like, a proper map. Like, either give you a proper map or don't give you a map at all. It just gives us that confusing mess, which they call a map, and... <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really help you finding yeah. anywhere, to be honest. God, I don't I don't like these drops either. There's got to be a way down yeah. there somehow, though. And this looks like a pretty a pretty plausible route. It sounded French yeah. then. It's like plausible. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, getting blinded by the light. Yeah. Oh, look at this place. Yeah. This isn't just like a problem with the video where like the brightness is turned way up. Yeah. This is. This is actually what it looks like. I can see bugger all right now. 
Is that a glitch or is it actually supposed to be this bright? I think this is like a desert. Yeah. Nope, it was just ridiculously bright for some reason there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. This place is beautiful. I want to live here. Are they selling any land? Okay, let me just quickly hop off and just make sure I am going in the right way before I spend too like, long just taking in the scenery and not focusing. Okay, oh no, I am, I'm going in the wrong way. Well, I want to go over, over that direction. Okay, well, luck, lucky I checked. The thing is, though, it's like it's pointing for me to go basically into a side of a cliff. So I'm obviously going to have to go around it, but I don't know which way around. Uh, come on, let me, let me get on. Come on. <laughs> How close do I have to be for it to register that I actually want to get in my horse? Did the game not assume? I'm standing next to my horse and I'm jumping. Did the game really think that I just wanted to jump next to my horse? Or could it not have worked out that maybe I want to actually hop onto the horse? <laughs> As it's my only true means of transportation around here. I'm really liking this area though. Maybe I should go on holiday here sometime. I wonder if there's a beach nearby. Oh, oh, what have I found here? Hop off. Is this is this anything, or am I just wasting my time wandering around? There's just so much stuff, just things around the place. Oh, is this the temple? This could be the temple. This might be where I'm supposed to go. Can my horse get down here? Maybe my horse can't. See if I can actually get on my horse in the first place. Okay, go on. Can, can, can you jump that? Can you? Go on. Big jump. Go on. Hop. No, no, it's just like shaking its head like, nope, not gonna happen. Okay, well, let, let's have a quick wander down here. This might be the, the temple that I'm supposed to be trying to get to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. The light's shining, like, directly to here. So, hopefully, my, my next nemesis will be hanging out in here for me to slay valiantly. Oh, my God, it's a, such a, like, a, a sharp contrast from it being out there being, like, ridiculously bright. Then I come in here and it's almost pitch black, yeah. Sorry for this being so dark right now, but it's just it's just really dark, sorry. <laughs> it's not my fault, I didn't make the game. <laughs> oh, can I, can you not, oh, I've got to grab on! Oh, I forgot about probably pressing R1. Uh, if, if you don't know, this is, this video I'm recording like a few days, like after all my other ones. Like all of the videos up until this one I recorded in the same day, just back to back. And then I took a few days break and had to do a few other things and now I'm going back, so... Uh, I might still be a little bit shaky with some of the controls and stuff and sort of uh, getting back into the swing of things a little bit. So you might have to uh, bear with me slightly. And wow, look at this place. Who builds this place? Who goes like, do you know what we need to build? Like, we need to build a massive cave. Like, how long would it take to dig all this out? Quite a while. I mean, I've, I've played Minecraft. I know how long things like this take. Can I, can I edge my way down there? I, I don't even want to try, actually. Let's have a look around. I mean, the cloth size has got to be coming in this chamber because, like, look how massive the chamber. They wouldn't have a chamber this big without shoving a cloth eye in it. They're not going to have one of those little lizards at the bottom. Like, this is my home. <laughs> how do I get down, though, without jumping and killing myself? <laughs> maybe, maybe I can climb down that front bit. I don't see any other route down. There does seem to be sort of ledges sort of sticking out. So maybe if I just sort of keep grabbing on and letting go, I can kind of shimmy my way down the side of here. Come on, I just need to do that. Come on, grab on. There we go. And down. There we go. I think I just got to do this all my way down. There's a little ledge there. Oh, this is terrifying. I don't know the last time I saved, actually. Oh, actually. I suppose I'd be right back to where my woman's lying in bed. Lazy. Oh, I just saw a health bar stick up then. Was that <laughs> the colossi just about to come in? <laughs> this doesn't sound good. I don't think I'm going to like this one. I don't like it already. I can imagine just a giant spider or something coming out. <laughs> he doesn't seem too phased. He's just standing there, completely still. <laughs> like, not even, not even turning around. Not even phased by the fact that the massive wall he just climbed down open. And then this thing's coming out. You might want to might want to turn around, mate. There's... <laughs> oh, it's got a beard. I was like a troll. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I've, I've blatantly got to climb up with this guy's beard. And I can't wait to do it, to be honest. I've never climbed up a person's beard before. This will be a new experience for me. Uh, but firstly, uh, I'm just going to quickly, just for your sakes, shove the brightness all the way up. Just because, um, yeah, it's, it's getting pretty dark in this little cave. And I want you to be able to see everything properly. And that made bugger all different. It's still really dark. But 
hopefully you'll be able to see things okay. I'm not, look at this, how dramatic is this? Can I grab onto, has he got hairy knuckles? Can I grab onto his hand? Oh, he's like, knuckles are like almost hitting the floor. What like a, what a big oaf. Oh yeah, I was warned that he's not stupid either, wasn't I? So maybe I'm going to have to try and outsmart this guy somehow. But let's, let's first have a look around, see if there's anything other than just me and him that I can use. Maybe I've got to climb up this pillar here or something to, to get up. Let's, let's, let's have a, a little bit of a wonder before we go charging in with my sword out swinging. I guess if I climb up on here, I might be able to jump onto his beard. That might, that might be a safe bet. As long as he doesn't kill me. They don't, they don't really, like, threaten you much. Like, the only real worry is, like, falling off them. When they're just sort of lumbering around, they, they very rarely attack you. And normally when they do attack you, that's like your opening to get up. So you're not really scared about getting hit. You're kind of just like just happy because you got a chance to, to climb up them. Okay, well, he doesn't seem very interested in me over here. Maybe I, maybe I, if I throw a uh, fire bow and arrow at him, he'll come over in this direction. There's got to be a reason for like this area around here, these walls and stuff. If I fire, fire an arrow at his face, see if, he, if he's phased. Oh, his, his, his eyes went orange. He's not happy. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Um, do I move or do I stay here and try and jump on the beard? What's he going to do? Is he going to kick me? Oh, yeah, he's climbing over. I reckon this is what I was supposed to have done. Get him over this way. Oh, and he hurt me. <laughs> I love the way that I can get trampled on by something that big. And it doesn't kill me, it just takes away a little bit of my health. <laughs> I wish it was like that in real life. You can just walk across the motorway and you get knocked down by a car and it just takes away a little bit of your health and then you just walk away as if nothing happened. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I'm trying to get him over in this direction, but for what reason, I'm yet to work out. There's so many times in puzzles and games where you just, you're just doing something, but you don't know why it will help you. It's just obvious that's what you've got to do. And you just sort of do it anyway without thinking why you're doing it. Like on, like on LucasArts games, like uh, Monkey Island and stuff. You have a puzzle and you'll just see things, you just pick them up and you'll just start trying to combine things. And you don't know why you're trying to combine them you just do it because that's obviously the the thing the game wants you to do and oh my god he's going right the way for me looks like i don't need to fire arrows anymore i can just he seems to be angry enough at me he's just going to charge after me um let's, let's hide in here for a little bit i, I don't see where where my opening is i reckon i reckon i'm gonna have to somehow jump on his beard there doesn't seem to be any other part of him which is ob obviously climbable like, most of the other ones had just, like, a furry patch, you know, like, there'd be just a completely non-furry thing. Which, oh, here we go, this, oh, he's looking for me, oh, I can get up to his beard. Go get it, get it, get it, I'm on, I'm on his beard! <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm climbing the beard of a colossi, this is absolutely epic. Is this even his beard? Is, is that his face? That is his beard, look. Come on, get up quick before I run out of grip. I need, to, I need to go to his face. Oh, there we go. His weak points on his head. Oh, this, this is so cool. I'm enjoying this so much. This is such a fantastic game. Oh, no, I've got, I've got to get up to the top, though. Come on, get, get, get to the flatness of his head before you lose your grip. Stand still, mate. Stand still. There we go. And I'm up, and I can get my grip back. As long as he stands still for a bit. Then I can start shoving my sword into his head. Oh, no. I said stand still, not bloody wave your neck around. I like this guy. This guy's cool. I, I, I was so set on not liking him when I saw where he lived, but I think I just like him because he's got a big beard. A big bushy beard! Oh yeah. <laughs> hot, hot fuzz reference there, if any of you got that. Okay, well, let, let's, let's get to his head and let's, let's start doing some stabby stabby. Alright, alright, buddy. Calm down, calm down. Go, 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 go. Big stab. Come on. Get him. Oh no, stay still. Stay still. Oh my god. How epic is this? Like, sometimes you get a bit accustomed to just being on these massive things and you kind of forget how epic it is. Like, even games like that come out today generally aren't, like, as epic as this. I don't know, it's just something, like... It's just something cool, it just is so cinematic. Like, this might as well be, like, just from a film and, like, the way the camera moves and stuff. But the fact is that you're controlling it. This isn't, like, a cutscene. You get lots of moments like this in other games, like God of War and stuff, and it looks dramatic, but it's generally kind of, like film like it's a quick time event and you're just sort of pressing it on this i'm i have full control over I, I know when to grab on i like can move around and i'm in complete control of my character in most games if they had a scene like this it would be like 
quick, keep tapping square to hold on or something like that. You're not really playing, you're just sort of pressing like weapon prompts at the right time. I'm not doing much stabbing though. He's doing there we go, big stab. I don't I don't I can't imagine where his next point would be. Maybe his beard. Maybe his beard is a weak point. The beard is the source of all his power and I've got to go and cut it off and then he'll be weak and naked. <laughs> I still don't understand why he doesn't just slap me off. He could so easily just tap the top of his head and just squash me, but instead he does this over-the-top shaking his head thing. Do you reckon, like, in this world they have rodeos where you've got to just stay on the colossi? You know, like, instead of using balls, they just, like, to go on top of one of these. <laughs> oh, dear. Stay on, stay on. I just got to get my grip back. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't fall off. Like, I don't, I don't trust this game. I've had a few glitchy moments in the past when I've not held on and I thought I should have been. And remember that time? I think it was in the last video or a recent video where I was just suddenly held on to, like, nothing. It was like an invisible wall on the side of the level and I was just holding on to there. So I try to make sure I'm extra careful. I don't want something like that to happen again. So far, I'm doing pretty well on this one. I haven't been stumped. There's normally a few periods where I have no idea what I'm, like, supposed to be doing. And I worked it out pretty quickly on this one. Somewhat accidentally, but I still worked it out. I'm going to stab in. I can't do anything. Oh, no. I fell off. fell off. I fell off. Please don't die. Oh, I'm still alive. Well, at least I can get my grip back. I don't know if there, there's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if there's something that I'm missing in terms of the whole gripping mechanic. Because it seems like I've got to be pretty much constantly holding on. And then, like, any time I try and, like, let my grip recharge, he just shakes around. So, I don't know. Maybe... I think it's it's taking slightly longer to kill these people than maybe it should have, but let's try and let's get his attention again and see if he'll he'll come and try and look down at here again. See if I get another opportunity to grab his beard, buddy. Down it. You see me? Fire an arrow into his beard. That will piss him off. He's not even fated. Oh, there we go. He's he's got his he's got his orange eyes. Let's go hide in here. Is he coming? Seriously, is he just not at all bothered by me? Yeah, mate, you're the guy who was just stabbing your head for the last minute. I'm down here. Come after me. I've got a beard to grab onto. Here he goes. Here he comes. He's looking for me. Go, 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 go. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Grab it. No, don't no, no, move, move. Oh, what awful timing. Has he seen me? I think he's seen me. Get back in. <laughs> oh, no, he's going for me. Roll, 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 roll. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on, buddy, look down here. Give me an opportunity to grab your beard. If I, if I hide behind one of these pillars, then when he looks down, I can just sort of dash out. Does he know where I am? Is he looking for me? I'm in, I'm in here still, mate. Come on. Here he comes. Go, 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 go. Got it. I'm on, I'm on. And up, and up, and up, and up. <laughs> no, no, I've got his attention. He doesn't like it when I tug in his beard, does he? I think I should just cut it off just to piss him off. I can't imagine where the other weak points are going to be. His head was a pretty obvious one, but maybe like both his shoulders or something? I haven't, I haven't had the chance to have a, a full look over him to, to see where all of his possible weak points would be. <laughs> but a, a weak head seems to be pretty common. Seems to be pretty accurate as well. Calm down, mate. Calm down. I just want to get my grip back. There we go. So there's not many opportunities like this when they just stay still for a little while. Give you a chance to fully get your grip back. Here we go. Here's my chance. Big stab. There we go. That, that did a bit of damage. I hate that, that squirting out the sound as well. Like, I just look so horrible. Don't it just make me feel mean. I'm going to do some proper damage now. Like, why, why does he stand still now? And like earlier, he wouldn't stand still enough for me to even do like a little stab. I think I think this point's sealing over now. Yeah, I'm not doing any more damage here. Right, I need to work out work out where his other weak points are. Maybe down on, like on his back somewhere down here. Whoa, easy, stay on. Hold on. Down here somewhere is there another weak point? Yeah, there we go. As I assumed. Maybe I'm gonna have to do like both sides. Right, let's go across. I'm just, I'm, sure I'm just gonna go all out and just keep stabbing as fast as I can and get rid of him. I don't, I don't know where I could regain my grip on this one. 
actually wait let me let me crawl up on top of his back quickly first get my grip back then i go down and get him all right mate stay still stay still if i stay really still will he just not notice i'm here nope <laughs> There we go. I think that's the quicker way to get down, just sort of let go and then keep going. Oh, I can't move. I'm just swinging around. I can't, I can't shimmy. I'm not on the hair properly. And he's, and he's not happy. Look, look at him just getting flailed around. That's hilarious. There we go. I got, I got a stab in. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I can't move. Stop wriggling. Stop wriggling. I need to jump up or I'm going to fall off. Look at you. I'm just completely upside down. Jump up. Jump up, jump up. There we go. I know, that there's nowhere for me to actually properly stand there. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> All right, okay, well, I know where I've got to get him now and I know what I've got to do, so hopefully I'll be okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna end this video here uh, before it drags to on too long. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description so when the next video is uploaded, uh, you can be able to see that and see if I can finish off this bearded beast. Uh, so that's the end of this video. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.